guys the nigerian police is actually in the news again this time around they have allegedly taken the sum of one million naira bribe from youth coppers take a look <laughs> I know you are not in my You make any call. Do I have to tell you? But there's no person putting my phone in the car. Yes. I have to tell my people that. Yes. Okay. Yes. If you are, if I'm in fact, you see, you mean I cannot be called. I cannot call anybody. Nobody has to be one of them. So when I get there, I'm going to be able to get there. I'm going to be able to get there. Uh huh. Again, Again, there are issues, there are issues in our system. In our system. Um, um, Ayo, Ayo, before you make before a statement, statement Dr. Patti wanted, wanted to also add also a comment add a with Bob Risky's story really quickly. Really I think it had to be a very dark man, dark man really, quickly. really quickly. And then, and then Bob Risky has returned, has returned to say where he's no longer committing suicide. suicide. He's planning to commit suicide. After deleting his Instagram post, we're letting him remind that the risk of committing the error of semantic saturation to remind him it's a felony. Under section 327 of the penal code. And the punishment is one year with additional time. But he has put it out there. The most important thing is that he has put it out there. Yes, he has reversed himself. He has given himself for no public education. Because in this country, a lot of people say, I want to come. If if you commit suicide, you succeed. Then, then the sections of the law don't apply to you. Okay. Number two is that I saw very dark. Man. You know, I responded to a conversation with a father at the instance of a confession. He was saying that a foreigner is the person to talk to. He said, "But this is not him." That he was the that one that, that, that he was that not the one that, that originated, originated the allegations. The allegations. Again, Again, there's some, there's uh, some uh, ignorance, ignorance there. there. Re saying that saying I was that not the original. Publisher, publisher of, of uh, defamatory, defamatory material, material. is no different in law. law. If you republish it, the man who wants to sue can, can sue the second, the second person who publishes. So it's so up to Polar environment to decide on who to publish. However, However, a very dark man made a point that he is fighting against corruption. And he wants and he want this, matter this matter to be resolved. To be and he says he stands by his story. I think that's commendable, think that's commendable uh, in terms uh, of what he's trying to do in public, in public interest. interest. However, However, they have, they have suspended, suspended about five, about five correctional, correctional of, uh, uh, service, uh, officers. service officers. However, However the, the control, control, controller general the point I of immigration I himself, where is the godfather that took somebody out of prison and put him in a you know, a place outside. The investigation, the investigation must continue. continue. So let me talk, so let me talk about, about this story, that, um, that, um, video that we video saw. That we you know, OG, this, this could have been the play of a number of videos, number of videos that, we've that we've seen on social, on social media. media. This story this of a policeman extorting one million naira from coppers was raised on X by, I think, was an old family. And he showed, and we see what played out. And I'm glad that the faces of these men are not covered. So it makes the investigation easier for the police force against to find out what really transpired. transpired. If you look at if how a lot of people, people if you interview in about 10 Nigerians, Nigerians, I dare to say 9 or 8 or 9 out of 10 have experienced being stopped by either police officers, officers VIO officials, LASMA, traffic, just FRSC, so many of them. And the one thing is that the police has to redeem its image. That's the truth. And so one of the ways they can do this is by making sure that when they get reports like this, just in the same show that Mr. Lumi when you came out, there has to be public accountability to say that we have followed this through, we found these men culpable, and as a way to demonstrate that there was serious but zero tolerance to corruption in the force, we are going to this punishment have been meted out. Then they should also use them as an example, because if there are no consequences, we will continue to see this happen. I'm not saying that, because if you look at any of many things you can say about even the police themselves, the reason why they are incentivized to behave in such a manner is because People you, you hand guns to, or you give them your responsibility to secure lives and properties, 
themselves are not being well taken care of. So if I put them on arming, someone who is not fit to hold those arms, that's one. The second thing is that they take advantage of people who are ignorant. So if you don't know your rights, you don't know what to do, they will just come in and swoop in. So maybe for citizens as well, active citizens, know your rights. And when you can provide video evidence of the most important thing that Nigerians want, is that the police need to act when they see them. They haven't said anything yet, so let me not jump on. But we need to see a lot more officers, airing officers, drop the book. We appreciate the police, but we need to also see airing officers, the bad eggs in the force, you know, discipline in the public sector. I mean, we have the visuals out there. We need to hear from the police. Also, also the ESTC and also from Haliu, Na Baba. You've seen it yourself. This is the reason why we keep saying that the issue of corruption in the ministries, departments, and agencies is alarming. Yes, we recall that these are the kind of issues that brought about the end, end bad, end SAS protest, end bad government protest that has actually yielded nothing in the nation of Nigeria. The truth is that I personally like to look at issues from the root cause. Most of the times we say these people take bribe, we say they are always not being corrupt. But I look at it from the root cause. These guys that you employed and armed to become police officers, to become soldiers, what is their take home as compared to the economy of Nigeria today? If you want to be realistic, some people will say if you don't want the job, resign. Some of them don't even have the opportunity to go to for any go look for any other job. And it's like instead of me to just be doing nothing in this high return of unemployment in Nigeria, I should just do it. And the truth is that they have to find a way and a means to survive. What do you expect from a person that is taking 100,000 naira in this country? 100 and something thousand naira in this country? Yes, regardless of the issue of increasing minimum wage, I have never seen that as a solution to the problem of Nigeria. Just like NLC and CUC also said, we must look at giving value to the naira. It's not about packing monies to give to people. A person goes into the market with a Ghana must go of money and come back with a handful of goods. Of what use does the so-called minimum wage have on the, on the lives of the people when the money you're giving to them has no value? It is only reducing the value of the Naira. Yes. And I condemn that in strong terms. Reduction and devaluation of the Naira. That is where the crux of the matter is. I was speaking to somebody sometime. I said, if I were the president of this country, I know that obviously for, for a government to be running, the government also needs fund. And that's why they go ahead to increase fuel price and all that. But for me, that's not the best way to go about generating funds, truthfully. If you need fund, there are basic things that Nigerians need. You can't go for those things to increase fuel price. No. I think that they should be going for things, taxing things like, like luxury items. Yes. If, if I were the president of Nigeria or a governor in these states, I will tax luxury items. Basic amenities like food, drugs, that are things that fuel, that people would definitely use. You can never increase the tax on that. Because the margin between the poor and the rich in this country is so large. The difference is so much. So, you should have gone ahead to tax major luxury items. For goodness sake, there are people that can do without those luxury items. He heavily tax them. That is one way the government can go ahead to increase, increase the revenue they need to run the government. Not just by going ahead to increase taxes on the general goods. Like someone said, if you travel out of this country, there are basic things that are not expensive. The likes of food. There's supposed to be food security. Even if nothing from the government is given to the people, they must have food security, there must be education security, there must be healthcare security. Every other area, people can do well to handle it. What the people are demanding from Nigeria is not even a much thing. They need good roads, they need lights, they need water, they need healthcare, they need education, they need food, they need fuel. Every other thing can, can be left for the meantime. Please. We love you to do all to share these videos because when we take time to create these videos, the reason why we do it is so that either directly or by proxy, the government will stumble on these things and perhaps one day see reasons to come to the aid of Nigerians. Please do all to also drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let's get to know what you think about the current saga that is happening in Nigeria in different sectors and we shall continue to be here to serve you. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. We truly do not take it lightly.